What's up, Night Owl Steely here back with another video, and today we're talking about the town of Goodmead. Goodmead is awesome. This is another one of those towns where I read one line in the description and just ran with it. Goodmead was founded by immigrants from Cholt. Cholt is an island jungle to the far south, and most of its inhabitants are tall with black skin. And oh yeah, dinosaurs. I know, I know, the book doesn't say there's dinosaurs in Goodmead, but if you decide to put dinosaurs there, it wouldn't be the only dinosaurs in Icewind Dale. No spoilers. And if you've ever played Ark Survival Evolved, you know how cool it is to have dinosaurs helping you with your day-to-day -day life. Goodmead is the place for it, in my opinion. At the very least, there are dinosaur carvings on the buildings around Goodmead, and that is by the book. The most noteworthy thing about Goodmead, other than the Triceratops running around, I will die on this hill, massive two-story mead hall in town. The most important export in the town of Goodmead is, of course, honeymead. And the town hall is actually dedicated to bee husbandry and beehive nurturing. And because of this, you can literally hear buzzing throughout the town, which the people of town have actually gotten used to, but visitors are annoyed by. Every town in Icewind Dale is accustomed to receiving these honey mead deliveries, and the town cannot actually produce the honey mead fast enough to meet the demand. Good Mead Stat Block is a friendliness rating of 2, Services 1, Comfort 2. They have a population of 100. They can muster up 20 soldiers, 2 vets. And their heraldry is a brown mug on a gray field. Their sacrifice to the Frost Maiden is warmth. The former town speaker of Goodmead was Kendrick Reelsborough, who was killed by a Verbeek. Goodmead currently has no speaker, but there is an election coming up, and there are two solid candidates in the running. The party has the option to interfere with this election if they so choose. Goodmead currently has two points of interest, the first being the Shrine of the Flaming Sword. This shrine was built to the God of War Tempest back when Goodmead was at war with Dugan's Hole. This is also this war is where the name Redwaters actually come from, the lake that Dugan's Hole and Goodmead are currently on the shore of. That was over a century ago, so this building hasn't been very well taken care of. But if you want the party to learn about the war between Dugan's Hole and Goodmead or where the name Redwaters come from, you can add a book in this shrine or maybe an NPC that will kind of explain things to them if they care about that sort of thing. The next point of interest is the Mead Hall, which, as I mentioned before, is dedicated to bee husbandry and taking care of those beehives. So 40 or four decades ago, 40 years ago, the town rid itself of its dependency of knucklehead trout and decided to move towards honey and honey mead. So since then, this town is less about the knucklehead trout and fishing in general and more about producing this honey mead. And that's all that the book provides about good mead, which is why I was so eager to start injecting dinosaurs into the town. But granted, this town has a population of 100, so don't go overboard with the dinosaurs. A trike is cool. Maybe add a ranger with a pterodactyl that goes out and hunts. I don't know, something like that. You want to add a, ra a raptor in there? You can add a raptor in there? What, whatever, you, whatever you feel, whatever your favorite dinosaur is, add one or two. You know, it won't hurt to add one or two dinosaurs to good mead. Just to fit with the aesthetic, the Cholt aesthetic. Read up on Cholt if you're, uh, if you want more information about where the the founders of Good Mead. Read up on Cholt in the Forgotten Realms wiki. Uh, that's a little bit too much information for for this video. Um, that's a whole. That would be a whole nother video, maybe multiple. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know how YouTube works. Hit those buttons. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite of the 10 towns is. And if you're a DM looking for players, players looking for a DM, make sure you join the Discord. Link in the description. Come by, ask questions. Let me know what you think. And as always, I'll see you at sundown.